that whole day was weird. I mean, the fact that she let me pick her up. I mean, since she's a puppy, I've picked her up once other than that, and it was to cross a river that we were stuck in the sheep. I had to carry her. And she knew it because it was dangerous. But other than that, I seriously thought my trust that she was a puppy. And then she let me carry her, let me sit with her, didn't want the food I was eating. Everything was very odd. And the thing that happened at the grill today was that someone did this or I, Did she hours. give you any? I, I mean, I, I, it was she, when she got in the tub, you know, I can, I can look at the, the, the text or we can call her. I mean, it was just, it, it literally was 140 characters. She had a mini seizure when she got in the tub. She's okay. We're going to finish her up quickly so you can get her. I said, should I come now? She said, no. So, I mean, for Leanne to finish doing her hair, right? Like it, she might, it, it, it couldn't have been that bad. That's scary because she would typically, and she knows, she, and she knows that we would. Away. Well, I mean, I honestly, yeah. obviously, I can't yeah. tell you for yeah. sure, but my hunch is that she's having uh, sort of partial and mm -hmm. petite mal seizures. Yeah. Um, um, again, how do I prove that? Well, I can, yeah. Um, um, Something to expect and not freak out every time it happens? Well, um, so seizures can be caused by lots of different things. Um, when I start thinking about them, I sort of try to split it into two big categories, things inside your head and things outside of your head. Um, you know, things outside of your head can be low blood sugar, um, liver disease, kidney disease, heart disease, um, toxins. Um, you know, our blood work doesn't indicate any of that stuff. Um, things inside your head can be uh, tumors, um, inflammatory diseases, areas of scar tissue. And it, like if you've been whacked in the head, even years later, if there's scar tissue, yeah. it starts to contract down. You know, the worrisome thing with her would be, well, we've got a tumor in two places. Do we have something? Um, and then, Hemangiosarcoma is a type of cancer that does like to go to the brain too. And so hemangiosarcoma would be one of the things on our list with what she's got there. Mm -hmm. Some of her behavior um, two nights ago on the roof was really highly unusual, like something was happening in her head. Well, my dog Euro had hemangiosarcoma in his kidney and it would have to his yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he didn't ever have seizures or anything. And, um, just started acting like his neck was stiff, and I CT'd his head, and we found it. And um, he actually uh, herniated his brain when we woke him up, and we put him to sleep. So, I think she's in pain. She doesn't seem like she it. doesn't. Act yeah, like no, she's she like literally. She acted. She saw a ball and started playing with a ball yesterday. Exactly. So then the next question is, well, do we put her on an anticonvulsant? Or not? Mm -hmm. You know, a realistic goal of uh, anticonvulsant therapy is that you're not ever going to have another one. You're trying to decrease the frequency of them, the intensity of them when they have them, and the duration of them when they have them. Uh, I don't think I'm ready to just start yeah. throwing another drug at her here. Um, she's not on many. She's on more herbal stuff now. Well, but those are still... Okay. Well, and if if what happened today at the groomers, what we saw last week at home, they're pretty quick. Yeah. It's well, most seizures are. Yeah. Um, you know, 30 seconds to a minute is a long mm -hmm. seizure. Um, the one at home was not even that long, unless you look at the extended period of what you well, saw. Well, that's that a good statement there, too, yeah. because there's actually three parts to seizures. There's a pre phase where the dog's just not quite right. Most people don't notice anything with that. And then the actual ictus itself is usually short lived, 30 seconds to a minute. And then there's a post ictal phase where, again, different dogs will do different things depending on the part of the brain that's affected. Um, I've got a friend who has a golden retriever, Jesse, who's blind for.